morning guys i have my breakfast today very simple breakfast just bread with black coffee iced black coffee i got this starbucks cup when i went to jejudo i thought it was really cute 어제 라디오에 팬분이 오셔가지고 팬분께서 진짜 맛있는 식빵을 사주셨어요 그래서 감사합니다 이렇게 아침으로 먹는데요 uh, there were like mocha, chestnut, and cream cheese. And I'm really stoked to try the chestnut one because I love pampang, like chestnut bread. It's been my favorite since I was really young. Uh, my mom got me into it. <laughs> Having bread first thing in the morning is probably not the best for my digestion, but it just looked too good. I couldn't wait. I'm gonna call my mom while eating. My mom's eating fish right now with rice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The bread is so good. And I just heard that they use really healthy ingredients for their bread. When Hayoung and Sojin came over, they got me this housewarming gift, which is chestnut spread. We they gave this to me and they were like, this is toothpaste. I had no idea because I didn't like look at it in detail. And I was like, oh yeah, you need new toothpaste. It looks so fancy. The design is so nice. And then the next day she texts me and she's like, oh, Anni, that's not toothpaste. It's actually chestnut spread. And I was like, oh. So why not have chestnut bread with some chestnut spread since I am a chestnut lover? Ooh. Mm. I'm going to be making pork with kimchi. I'm just freestyling it. thinking like kimchi now. I decided to make some tofu too because I had some leftover and I didn't want it to go bad. And tofu and fried kimchi is actually a popular snack in Korea, especially with makgeolli. Mm -hmm. I don't really like tofu, but with kimchi, I could have so, so, so many of it. Good morning guys! For breakfast, I'm just having two fried eggs with sweet potato that I already took a bite of and some good old iced Americano. I put some everything but the bagel seasoning on the eggs so it's not too bland. So two hours have passed since I had my lunch. I'm kind of in the mood for a snack and I got a box of macarons as a gift from a fan the other day. So I'm going to eat it. I don't know which one to pick. They all look so delicious. I'm gonna go with the brown ones since this is kind of crushed. This is chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. For dinner, I'm gonna have Song Thai with Cindy and Subins. I love this Thai place so much. I came here during the vegan challenge too because they have vegan options. Let's go in. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This brand was kind enough to send me some of their granola and this brand is really cute because it's called My Grain Mother. <laughs> Get it? My Grain Mother. So I got a box of these beautiful, delicious halabong, Jeju oranges. Oh my god. It's so sweet. That is Penjang Bap. Oh. Oh my god. Today's breakfast is onion bagel with this French cream cheese that I'm trying for the first time and iced Americano. It's my first time trying this. Look how unevenly I cut the bagel. The hell is this? Are you serious? If someone served me bagel like this, I'd be pissed. Ooh. Oh. other half of the bagel, I'm having it with cream cheese and jelly. So I got half a sandwich and corn soup and Ashley got a bacon cheddar sandwich. salad for lunch today because I just felt like I haven't been eating enough veggies honestly with salad I feel like it's just easier for me to get them delivered rather than make them my own when I do buy vegetables to make salad I always end up throwing more than half away because it goes bad but honestly the only vegetable in here is like lettuce I know I just had salad trying to be all healthy and stuff, but I got this cake. Ever since I came to Korea, I developed this habit of having dessert after a meal because what do you do after you eat in Korea? You go to a cafe and then you always get like a dessert to share with your friends. So it's literally become an unhealthy habit for me where i have to have something sweet after i eat and oh my god can we talk about how cute this cake is what the hell it's from new Dake, everyone it's seriously a cafe where all your dessert fantasies come to life oh my god I really wish I didn't have a sweet tooth. It's like croissant on the outside and then green tea cream in the middle. Mmm. Oh. Wow, that's good. I haven't had green tea anything in so long, so I am truly enjoying this. For today's dinner, I'm gonna try to make denjangjigae. I got this meal kit from Kupang. It's my first time trying a meal kit and this was very, very affordable. It takes about 16 minutes to make and it's a portion for two. And then they also give you a sauce. If I wake up happy, and what if I wake up sad? Sorry if I. 
said something, something that made you mad. Wishing that I could call you. Sorry, my service bad. My bad. When I wake up, you're not next to me. Guess I'm missing all your energy. That's all I want. Promise I am not your enemy. I just need another memory. That's all I want. Cause all I want is you. Is you. What? Can't believe I made this. Well, half. <laughs> I don't know what goes in the sauce. I wish I knew so I can make it. I could try to make it on my own, but yeah, I mean the sauce does everything and I bet it tastes delicious. I also got this plate that matches with my cup. They're both from YesStyle, so I will link it down below just in case you guys are interested. These are my favorite types of mushrooms. I never really liked mushrooms a lot growing up, but these I always had. Oh my gosh, this looks scrumptious. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So yummy! Oh my god, the soup is so good. What do they put in the sauce? I need to know. some of those fries. <laughs> For brunch today, I'm finally making my own cruffles. Cruffle is croissant plus waffle. So I bought these frozen croissant dough and they're mini. And I'm gonna try to make my own. I'm so excited. So let's taste this crumble. Croissant dough is so good. What the? Dude, friends, come over. I will make you cruffles. today I'm making kimchi pancake. I've been craving this for a while now so I thought I would get my own ingredients and make it myself. I have actually tried to make a kimchi pancake during my vegan challenge. I'm gonna try it again but this time I'm adding some more ingredients because the last time I only used flour. 
I watched a YouTube video by Ping Mama Lee Hye Jung, who is a very famous chef in Korea, and she suggested on adding glutinous rice flour just to make it a little chewier. So I'm gonna try it that way. Okay, I made my first batch, but I kind of want to see how it tastes before I make more. And because I made so much, I think I'm just gonna fry it and then keep it in the fridge and then reheat it whenever I want it. Mm -hmm. I made my sauce with soy sauce and sesame oil. As long as you have good kimchi, I feel like it's gonna be good. The next one, I do want to make it a little thinner and smaller, just so it like cooks evenly everywhere. Right now, the outer edges are very crunchy, crispy, but the center is kind of soggy. Thank God for kimchi. Like whoever invented kimchi, thank you so much. I can't live without it. I honestly can't. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Something I realized while filming these what I eat in a week videos is that most of my friends, almost all of my friends living back in the States know how to cook and enjoy cooking. But I feel like all of my friends in Korea don't know how to cook and don't cook. Um, I don't know if it's because the delivery system is so good here that we just don't find the need to cook or something. I don't see anyone cooking unless they're married and they're like, they have babies. Yeah, so I was just thinking about that. I'm always impressed with my friends um, back in the States. I don't know how they learned. I had like three kimchi pancakes, so I'm really full. Hopefully this will keep me full till later tonight when I come back home from radio. 